Hi everyone, um, this is just a little message before we get into the video. Um, I will do a Hyperworks video of me taking this apart and then I will put it back onto normal video. So let's get started with that now. Alright guys, um, I managed to get this apart alright, um, you will see the time lapse of it, um, I will add that in the video, I will add it in, I'm just going to disconnect these leads from the speaker, there's the speaker driver right here, very interesting little thing huh, it's an LTEC glancing. I love it. It's actually a subwoofer, so... And, um... Here is the actual inside of it. There's the amplifier with the wire is. And the potentiometer. The potentiometer is actually what... Controls the base. The, the uh, movement of this. The volume of the, you know, sub. I just gotta try and get the amp out now. How on earth did they manage to get the amp in there? How did they get it in? Mm. Well, that is the inside of the subwoofer then. <laughs> yeah, that's insulation there. Um. <sighs> Let's take a look at these little satellite speakers. Now, one of them has the cover on. And the other one doesn't, so you actually get the the actual driver, so if let's try and get this kind of off here. I managed to get the other cover off okay. That's the cover. Well, the gigantic one, which is the subwoofer unit here. Um, now, these ones are completely sealed. Um, this unit actually does work, but it does have a few problems. It's got a like, serious, serious bad connection in inside the amplifier somewhere. Oh. Huh. I found where the fuse is on the sub with the unit.
Right, I found a little fuse here. This is the fuse. The little one. It seems to be okay, so we'll put that back in. Alright. There we go, there's the fuse. It's back in there good. It's got a little heat sink in there too, that's good. Keep it cool. Everything. You can actually see the construction of the unit in there as well. You can see it. That right there is the amplifier. And that is the transformer. Which delivers the power to the amplifier. And that little yellow wire actually connects all the way to the transformer. To the... To the windings on it. And, uh, yeah. This unit is 240 volts, 50 hertz, 0 0.12 amps. Yikes, that's quite a lot of amps. You think? That's quite a lot of amps there. And this is the subwoofer unit. Oh, and um, this is the installation here. You have to be quite careful with this stuff. It smells like MDF. And we've got this panel here, which came off fairly decently. The reason why I time lapsed it because um, I knew it was actually going to be quite hard, so I just sped up the video. So yeah, there it is, this thing in there like that, and look at that, it fits in there good, <laughs> it fits in there good, I love it, it's pretty cool in there, oh, I'm really careful about installation stuff, I think this is like a five and a half inch driver, on it, don't know, but this thing does have high excursion as well, high movement, as people call it. Most other people, like in American, call it high excursion. I love it. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I do not know whether we are actually going to take these apart. Well, I guess it is a, <laughs> I guess it is a video of taking speakers apart, so I guess we, w I guess we could. Oh, this is interesting. Look, that's an interesting little plug that actually goes to the speakers here. little two inch driver in there <sighs> no I guess we should take it apart I'm also going to time lapse this little part here because who knows I might end up taking that one apart or this one or the rest of the unit I don't know but you know what, I'll just leave it as it is. Let's get started now. Oh, awfully long screws too. Did you see that? Look. Very long screws. You can't miss those. Can't miss them. At all. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm in my school, uni school uniform. I haven't got dressed yet, but... Hey, that's a little driver. Oh, cute. 
That's a cute little driver. There we go, that's the little driver there. This is like a little shielded type. Type driver. I'll take glancing. Very tiny spider. Very small voice coil too. Cute. Hmm. I guess um with the other one it will be the same for you, but just with an amplifier. I know you guys must be thinking, wow Jacob, you do a lot of editing on your videos, how do you do it? Well, I actually use this little video maker software, which is called Video Guru. It allows you to edit your own videos. Whether put sound effects in, wide effects, or uh, voice effects, like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Download it on Samsung on the Play Store only. It doesn't, I don't think you can download it on Apple. I'm using a Samsung phone. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting little unit, too. Outtake Clancing powered audio system. Of course, it's powered because it's got an amplifier. Duh. It's not rocket science, mate. I'll bring that into frame. Bring this into frame right there. Wow, it's got like a giant dust cap. I heard, um,. When the speakers like this actually have bigger dust caps, it actually allows them to allows the voice coil to cool down a little bit. Oh, it's also got a vent on the back. Too a vent on the back there. That little deep hole. See, look, watch. It's ever so deep. So watch. And I push the cone, watch. Oh no, I didn't push the cone. Watch. Watch. See the screwdriver move? That's how you know it actually hits the voice coil. The dust cap even. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm not sure where we'll, whether we'll be able to put this back together, but I will try. But I will speed it up definitely because it took me about thirteen minutes to, <laughs> yeah, take apart and then probably put it back together. Alright, I probably won't solder the wires back on for the woofer, because who knows, um, I don't even use this system very much anyway, but, hey guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time, bye, and I'll speed it up now. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this little part, this little speaker system.
tear down if you did enjoy like comment and subscribe and who knows maybe i might end up taking apart the ceiling fan maybe just maybe it depends what i'm going to be doing with it but if not i'll find something else to take apart for you guys well we're at 60 subscribers so let's try and get up to 70 and i'll do another one Oh, and now let's do 80. 80 subscribers. That is our goal. So, thank you so much for watching. No, I don't have any... I don't have any sponsors for this, but... I wish I did. That'd be pretty cool if I did have sponsors, but... But yeah, guys. This is a Altec Lansing 2.1 system. With a gigantic subwoofer. I think the subwoofer is like 5 inch, or 5 and a half inch, and for little speakers, are like, I don't know, like 2 inches? And let me grab a thing here real quick, and let's measure it. Alright, I have to be quick, um... Yeah, two inch. Exactly two inch. Same with the other one too. Now I'll take this grill back off so I can measure the woofer. The boom boom woofer. Reminds me of that song Boom Boom Pow by Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> boom Boom Pow. I'm not going to do it otherwise I'll get it copyrighted. <laughs> Alright, I've taken the cover off. There's the cover, as you can see. Can you see through it? Of course you can, because it's metallic. Alright, we've got the subwoofer here. Let's measure it. And it is a 5 inch. Exactly 5 inch, guys. Let's put the cover back on so we don't damage the speaker. If you guys want to find out the model number of this unit, I will read it out in a minute. Just hang on, let me get the cover back on. Alright, so this system is a LTEC Clancing VS23. Two one, I repeat, V S two three two one, our tank cleansing amplified speaker system. There you go. There's your model number if you want to look that up or you want to get your own. Go ahead, be my guest. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Remember, eighty subscribers we need to get up to, or a hundred, either one. Just pick. And I'll see you next time. Bye.